Welcome everyone. There are two ways to lock apps in S23 Ultra. The first way is I want you to download the Shulka Maker app from the Google Play Store. You are then going to find empty space on your home screen and just long press on that empty space. You are then going to open the widgets and you're going to find the Shulka Maker widget tap on the arrow and just drag and drop the shortcut standard, not the app. So we're gonna drag and drop. Once we've done this, we are brought to this view. Just tap on apps and select the application you would like to lock. So let's lock the, the chess. You'll be brought to this view here. Just tap on the shortcut lock and then just tap on create shortcut. So we have the default app which opens up with no lock and now we have a duplicate app which opens up when you enter in your passcode, pattern or pin. So we need to hide the app which doesn't have the lock. We do this by long pressing on the empty space. We are then going to open up the settings and this should bring you into the home screen settings. You're going to see here, hide apps, tap on hide apps. And we're just going to hide that application, which we wanted to lock. We will then tap on done. And now that regular app, which can open without lock is gone. And so we need that passcode pattern or pin to open up the app. But the downside of using this third party application is if we just go to the multitasking, we can open up the lock tab without the biometrics. Okay. And so if you use this method, every time you're done with the app, you definitely want to close it out of the multitasking. The second method is using the secure folder. The difference with secure folder is not all apps are supported, first of all. Typically the first party apps from Samsung aren't. And second, the application will stay on your phone. You can still see it on your phone, but you have to sign out of the account in the non-secure folder version. And in the secure folder, that is where you sign into your accounts if you want your apps to be locked. So to set this up, we're going to open up the settings and from here, we're going to see where it says security and privacy. We're going to tap on this and then we're going to find the secure folder and we're going to tap on the secure folder and we're going to enter in a biometrics. If you've never set up the secure folder, it will now ask you to sign into your Samsung account again. You will need to agree to the terms and conditions and then the secure folder will be created. Once it is created, it should open up automatically for you. But if it doesn't, just search up for the secure folder and then open it up. Once you are in this view, just tap on the plus and then just select the app you would like to lock like this and then tap on add. Finally, tap on the triple dots, tap on settings and auto lock secure folder, tap on this and select each time I leave an app. What this does is we can open up the app. Okay. And of course, uh, this is the app is opened. And so once the app is opened, you can see it's in the multitasking, but unlike the previous method, Every time we leave the app or the secure folder, we have to enter in our pin again or pattern. And if I want to reopen up the app, I have to open the secure folder, which requires the pin. And then once I've done that, I can open up my apps. And so what this means is the downside, you have to open up the secure folder before you open up the app. The upside is the application will always be locked whether it's in the multitasking or not. 
One final thing to note with the secure folder is that there will be the regular version of the app on the Samsung still, which you can still open. Okay, this one, you can still open it without the lock. So what you do is you sign out of any accounts in the non-secure folder version. So if someone accesses it, they're not gonna get any information. And in the secure folder version of the app, that's where you sign in and that's where it's locked with your biometrics. With that being said, if you would like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.